Hey Siri. Turn on a dark mode. Sorry, but I'm not able to change that setting. Okay. Now imagine this being part of your iPhone. Imagine that your iPhone doesn't blind your eyes when you're doing something on your phone in dark environment. Well, it's very likely to be true really soon. What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and in this video I will be talking about something that was anticipated by so, so many people. I personally didn't believe it will happen at all. I am of course talking about the night mode for iOS. If you have never heard of this or don't know what it is, then it's a feature that makes life easier. It makes the display change its colors in order to make it easier for your eyes to look at the screen. For example, when you're texting, your screen is mostly white and that blinds your eyes. So why not to make it black? A great example of the dark mode being applied in real life is the clock app where in iOS 10, the background that was previously white turned black and the text turned white. Apple decided to apply this on a clock app because most of the time people open the app during night or when it's already dark to set an alarm for example, but this is definitely not enough. On this channel I show you all of the iOS betas because it's good to keep track on what's going on with Apple updates. But many of the updates are just containing some small bug fixes or just small improvements. The next beta of iOS 10, which will be 10.3, is supposed to bring this feature. It's not going to be called dark mode or night mode, but instead its name is theater mode. I'm not completely sure about the name, I don't know if it's supposed to help you when you're in theater and you want to check out your phone without blinding your eyes or your phone screen is the theater stage and that way it should provide you the best experience to look at it. Anyways, it will be accessible in the control center right next to night shift. As you can see there's a lot of unused space and it doesn't make any sense to have this huge icon just for night shift that most people don't even click because it turns on automatically. So the icon of the theater mode is going to be shaped as a popcorn and the button is going to be placed right next to the night shift. So when are the changes supposed to happen? Of course when the iOS 10.3 drops, but when is it going to be? The first beta should be released for developers on January 10. I will of course be informing you guys about it, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And the final version will be released later on. Of course, nobody knows how many betas we'll be seeing this time. I didn't expect to see 7 beta versions of iOS 10.2 because it's such a small update. Not sure how big this update is gonna get, but there can be a lot of betas. Theater mode could possibly mean several things like some kind of silent mode for iPhone or something like that, but I hope, hope it is the dark mode bringing all iOS users what they basically want. So that would be great. And also maybe Apple wants to add this feature because there is a possibility to jailbreak in iOS 10.1 and by adding dark mode to iOS 10.3, lots of people will want to update just to get that feature, eliminating the jailbreak. So this is another possible reason why Apple would want us to have this cool function. For now you can just turn on inverted colors in a settings that create similar effect because it turns white into black but it also turns all other colors and that looks really weird. But if you're using messages for example then it's okay to turn it on. So we got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and your support in the year of 2016 and stay tuned for more videos in 2017 because I have lots of cool stuff prepared for you in the future. Have a great day and see you next time. Peace.